One, two. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's go. I said, hey, get down. We're in Fantasy Studios in Berkeley, California. Which is right next to Oakland. And this is the room. This is Studio, Studio D. Mano asked me to be a part of this Andre Crouch project about a year ago, I think. He told me all the great ideas he wanted to do and do a documentary, do a, a record, and, you know, tell Andre's story because there's so much that he has done. A lot of people don't know. I said, okay, sure. So all of a sudden, then he just calls me and says, hey, uh, I want you to do this session. This is the Andre thing. I'm like, oh, my God, finally? Yes, you know? We've been talking about it for a long time, so... Um, I'm really excited to be a part of this. I think the most difficult thing for me in preparing for a record is to pick what songs that you want on the record and what does God want you to say next. And that has been sometimes difficult for me because I like that song, I like that one, I like that one, I like that one. And then I say, Lord, which one do you want me to put out now, that's the most difficult part because I like all the songs. It's like, uh, what shall we eat for dinner and you got everything. Dr. Allen, thank you so much. Thank Doc, this so is a privilege much. and an honor for me, it really is. This is taking forever. I would have wanted this to happen, you know, 20 years ago. It sounds, it sounds great in here, sir. Okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's run it again. Okay. Why well, anybody want to know where I'm going? Oh, I uh, have come to a place in my life where this song says, what God has for me is for me. While uh, it has taken all these years, I'm looking at it like this. Yeah. It has finally come. If anybody, yeah, tell them for me, yeah, yeah. If anybody questions, Lord, tell them for me. Ah. Linda McCurry called me and asked me, would I be interested in doing this project? I didn't know that it was as big a project as it is. I didn't know, you know, that all these people were involved. Let's try working uh, the never. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He uh, will uh, never, You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm... All right, we could try. Okay. I get a call from my longtime friend, Maurice Fitzgerald, who's um, working on this album as a bass player. And we go way back, and he says, Kim, I'm working with a man who's incredible, and the music that we're doing, we're doing it for Andre Crouch's album. Oh, I need faith that come the raging sea of faith that believes This record, this album is showcasing every aspect of who Andre is. You know, the songwriter, the inventor of things, the person yeah. who, 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 who stretches, you know, who, who features other people. You've captured this guy. I mean, he's authentically Andre. And like, mm. well, you know what, I'm a, I'm a fan though. I'm, yeah, I, know, I know we all too. are. You know <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually my first artist on, on my label. You better stop. Channel. Yeah. Want me to do it again? Yes. Oh, this is awesome. This is an awesome thing. This is perfect timing for a person like Mano to really do him in the earth. Because for him to express himself through a person as wonderful, the magnitude of an Andre Crouch is so befitting because any part of the world, any kind of music, knows the worth and the value of Andre Crouch. And when they hear this record, they're gonna know the worth and the value 
of Mano Haynes. He's just, he's my brother, you know. He's just amazing, he's so talented. Every time I see him, I, he just makes me smile when he walks into the room, you know. Well, talk about a man with a gift. Mano it has blown me completely away. Um, with all that he does, his, his uh, musical genius is just absolutely amazing. God has honored him with the task of, of, of putting this whole thing together. And it seems that he couldn't have asked for a better man to do it. Because, you know, you talk about a man with a heart for it. He is amazing. I'm glad to be able to call him my brother. so rusty I, mean, I, I ain't practiced in so long it's crazy i practice making records like i have to practice as i'm in record which is kind of kind of awful that's going to change um this year i received a call from his producer mano oh, that said uh, would you sing on andre crouch's record and you know if you say andre then i'm there let the church say amen God has spoken, and let the church say amen. Any time that I could be on a uh, piece of music with Andre Crouch is uh, a great time. That, that was, I, know, I had to ring that towel. I had to ring it, because you know, you know what was on that tape. Woo! I, I was, I was going to say, you know what? You got it, you got it out of me. Oh! Got it out of me. Woo! That was it. Oh, my God. There's not a lot of people outside of the gospel realm that really know him. They don't know him at all. And it's crazy, you know, because he's like the man in the gospel field. Hey, on, on, so on the second hit, that's going to be like a little string thing right here. For Andre to, to go past just the gospel, that's what we're supposed to do. It's not just stay within. We're, to be, we're supposed to be able to reach millions of people if we can with with what God has given us and Andre has done that I can't even imagine if we could actually take account of the people that he has touched through his music um, would be a vast majority of people on this earth that have been touched by at least one of his songs and not realizing that that was him I'm not a singer myself I don't feel like I am because I know so many great singers and I said, God, I, ooh, I wish I could sing like that. I can't do all that riff stuff, that Chinese stuff. That's not me. And I always want my lyrics to come through. Most people that sing my songs sing it much better than me. It's not a contest, but it's trying to show the words and what the song is talking about. Because voices die, but words live. To please the Lord that Faith. Without it, it's impossible to please no the Lord. Without faith, it's just impossible to please the <laughs> you are just freaking amazing. <laughs> um, you, this don't make no sense. No, seriously, it doesn't make any sense. So, listen, well, I, I don't know how you feel. This is what I feel. I want to go again. Uh, I would say, let's just go, like, let's take you down. I kind of like this pre. Okay. I like the sound we have in your mic. Participating on an album with and for Andre Crouch is a lifelong dream for me. At the tender age of one year old, I always used to sing, and I sang the hallelujah chorus, the hallelujah praise that he recorded. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But at one, it was like, ha -e -ah. So over 30 years, he has been an inspiration to me. 
and to my family. And I think he's a great musician. Let's get that rock section. That's 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 it. Yeah. I love Andre a lot, and I love working with him. I love doing music. He's a great musician. He's a great singer. He's a great writer. Great writer. I've just always loved him. This is one person when someone said, you know, come do something on, the, on his new thingy, and, you know, I, was, I said, I'll make time to do it. I'm just honored to be his friend and be a part of his family and uh, be able to have done so many, uh, I guess, recordings and write songs with him and performances. We've just had a lot of fun, you know. First of all, I'm just so honored to even have been asked to be a part of uh, something that encompasses uh, uh, an icon's life, uh, to be able to take uh, one of his simple songs and just go to town with it. Many of the songs, I just get the first part or maybe just the story of the song and not the lyrics where they're supposed to be, but I know what I'm supposed to say in a particular song. But as far as the order, whether that's the first part or the middle or the end of the song, I don't always know, because I don't know whether it should be, uh, the end should be on a high note or a low note or just something mellow. I just, when I record it, I think uh, God gives me the interpretation of the song and how to deliver it. And when I feel it that way, and it touches me, then I feel like it would touch somebody else. Man, any direction that you point to the gospel music has gone in, uh, leading uh, the troop will be Andre Crouch. If it was funk, classic strings and horns, if it was country, Andre was there. So God had used this man to, uh, to walk through every musical door that uh, a gospel can imagine. Tell him I'm heaven, heaven bound, bound. I'm on my way, y'all. To know that I'm I'm going to be on Andre Crouch recording. That's going to mean a lot to my family as well, because they know how much it's going to mean to me. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Oh. One thing that has always just puzzled me is that Andre can write a song today and the day that he writes it, it sounds as if you've been singing it for years. He can write a song and you say, wow, it's so simple, yet so complex, so profound and yet so, so on the surface. And uh, he's just, uh, I mean, what he hears is just phenomenal. Andre seems to always meet and exceed the expectation. Musically, it was a challenge for me because I had never heard the song before until I got here. It was pretty interesting, but wow, what a great song. And I just, I'm honored to be a, a part of this, this uh, tribute to him, I should say, in celebration of who Andre Crouch is. Oh, I love him. Oh.
I hadn't heard a gospel music sound so well rehearsed, and especially leads uh, were always the very top notch singers. He's been the best at what he does for a long time. He's an icon, he's legendary, he's magnificent, he's underground. I'm glad that, that I have been asked to be a part of what, you know, about of that gift that God has given to Andre. Taking that simple, powerful melody and then throwing what he gave me into the picture. Let's just make some soup, let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> God gives me all these different ways to look at stuff. And that's what I appreciate because I've always wanted something that if the message is meaningful to me, I think about all the diversified personalities and people and countries that I play in. You know, I'm simple. And uh, I want to be able to sing my songs to anybody. I sincerely see this as like a healing CD. I mean, it has a lot of healing elements in that. The music is pure, it's honest, and it's going back. It's a, it's a reach back to bring forward. Listen to Andre Crouch. Listen to all of that music. It's a cornucopia of a wonderful and epic proportion, just a cacophony of, of music and heritage. Let the church say, come on out of the valley, come on out of the dumps, say man. Oh, oh, say man. Oh, say, say man. You have to understand where you're from to know where you're going. Point, Understand the chord structures, the difference, the, 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 the uniqueness okay. in, in Edwin Hawkins and an Andre Crouch. And Edwin Hawkins and the difference from an Edwin Hawkins and a Walter Hawkins. Study, become a student of that, and then allow God to just sort of fuse all of that in you. And wow, I think the best singers, the songwriters, musicians are all in the church. And I think that's the way God planned. You sound amazing. That's so good. Ooh, that's so good. They even been such a good producer. <laughs>